One of the factors that affects pond production is the method of pond preparation. Activities undertaken during pond preparation are soil conditioning, elimination of predators and competitors, growing desired natural foods, repair of gates and dikes, installation of screens and substrates, leveling of pond, and excavation of bottom trench. Prior to pond preparation, the pond bottom soil and dikes are usually sampled for the analysis of pH or lime requirements and organic matter content. Especially for the newly developed ponds, the occurrence of acid sulfate soil is common. Hence, if an acid sulfate condition is detected, steps for its reclamation can be incorporated in the pond preparation. However, for the conditioned ponds, soil sampling may not be necessary. Drying the pond bottom is the most practical, cheapest, and effective way of eliminating predators and competitors. It also oxidizes obnoxious gases that may be harmful to the prawn. The pond is dried until the soil cracks. While drying the pond, other activities such as the repair of dikes and gates, rehabilitation of pond bottom trench, leveling, installation of screens and substrates may also be undertaken. To ensure complete eradication of predators or competitors, organic pesticides should be applied to the undrainable portions of the pond. Here, the use of inorganic pesticides is discouraged due to its residual effects that destroy the natural fertility of the pond soil. Liming is the addition to the soil of any calcium and magnesium containing compound that is capable of reducing acidity. Favorable actions of liming are as follows. It kills by caustic action, freely swimming and bottom dwelling organisms that are harmful to fish. It raises the low pH of acid waters to a slightly alkaline value, which is more favorable to fish health and the metabolic cycle of the pond. It also increases the alkaline reserve in water and mud, and by its buffering action, prevents extreme changes in pH. It produces quick and considerable improvement. This improvement comes from the liberation of bases, the neutral reaction. Liming the water precipitates suspended and soluble organic matter which demand oxygen and provide favorable conditions for the existence of many disease instigators. It provides large amounts of active calcium needed by most of the organisms responsible for the nitrification of ammonium compounds into nitrites and nitrates. Liming corrects acidity, thereby enhancing the release of nutrients such as phosphorus and microelements from the soil. It can also improve the structure of fine textured soils. An excess of lime, however, can be troublesome because it will decrease the phosphate available for precipitation as the insoluble calcium phosphate or magnesium phosphate. Fertilization is one of the pond management techniques that will increase the carrying capacity or the maximum biomass of fish that the pond can support. The importance of increasing the production of natural fish food in a pond by fertilization lies not only in the fact that big increases in crops are to be obtained much more cheaply than by giving artificial foods. For prawn culture, application of fertilizer is dependent on the type of the culture system employed. In extensive culture, where the stock is fully dependent on the natural foods, fertilization is a must. On the other hand, in semi-intensive culture system, fertilization may be needed during the pond preparation only. Fertilizers may be classified into inorganic and organic fertilizers. 
Inorganic fertilizers are the manufactured chemical fertilizers that usually contain concentrated amounts of at least one of the three major plant nutrients, like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Organic fertilization of pond is almost as old as the practice of aquaculture itself. In the Philippines, chicken manure is widely used in pond preparation. This has been observed to stimulate the growth of lablab or blue-green algae, diatoms, bacteria, and various animals which forms a mat at the pond bottom or floating patches along the margins of ponds. Application of organic fertilizers is necessary in new ponds as it serves as soil conditioner.